everyone welcome to a beautiful day in Cambodia so it is around 5 p.m. almost 5 p.m. and um, we are currently at Kampot's famous iconic place and guess where that is that is right we are outside the roundabout where the iconic durian is look at that that's so cool right and uh, it's got coconuts there and um, I really want to see what kind of uh, fruits they have in there. It's kind of like a fruit salad um, right in the middle of this roundabout. Look at that. It's so cool. Oh, look at that. They got pineapples as well. <laughs> so this is Camp Pot and uh, if you're in the city centre, you would know that because this here is the famous area which everyone comes to to take pictures of. Pray to the Durian gods, everyone, because we hope for a uh, very uh, creamy and really nice durians to be made so we can eat it. I think that over there is lychee and mangosteen as well. So it's probably like uh, Cambodia's really popular, popular sort of uh, fruits all in that uh, statue. But uh, durian is the most popular one, which is funny because uh, in Malaysia, durian is the, their, their fruits are uh, really popular uh, in Malaysia and in Asia as well as Thailand and Vietnam and Cambodia it's quite popular too but to have a statue here is very very uh, really cool I like it it's just uh, you know what a lot of people probably won't like it those who do not like durian but I absolutely love durian I've been eating it ever since I was a kid so I find that very amusing and very funny okay so I guess where are we right now so we are in the city center and there's actually a uh, local market here called Camp Pot Night Market that opens uh, around or oh, what time did I open again I'm just gonna quickly check and have a look so I give you guys the right information uh, let's have a look it's just right over there where I'm pointing the camera so the opening hours are from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. and it's got a 4 out of 5 Google Star reviews from 570 people. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go and cross the road. Um, the sort of traffic isn't too bad here, like uh, Phnom Penh. It's uh, much better and I think um, I'm just going to have to cross the road uh, very, very sort of slowly and make my way through because I'm like really confused as to how to uh, cross right now okay so there is a little bit of leeway here for me to go the I feel like to cross the road you have to wait until the cars go and then um, just like try to weave your way uh, around the motorbikes and when you walk slowly the cars kind of just like uh, I, I have to like look left right and center because there's like six exits and cars are coming from every direction that's okay thank you yeah so um, this here is Campot night market but it's also a day market as well so um, the title can be very 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 um, uh, deceiving so what do we have here so we've got some shirts here that we can go through so um, let's have a look Oh no, they're all the same store. So this one is all of that. And if we look on this side here as well, uh, that's one shop too, heading out that way. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, go through the uh, entrance and go through the right first and see what we have. So this is what you can expect from uh, Camp Pot Night Market. And uh, the interesting thing is as well, oh look, there's like two... Uh, food stores in here too oh no there's four I think there's like some at the back let's have a look at what they sell so 8,000 reels so that's about two US dollars for these food wow look at that so that's dried fish over there and chicken as well and they've got kids clothes here too oh look at that it's so wet on the floor right now wow I've got like a little bit of bubble tea here too. Bubble tea is actually getting really popular in Asia right now. Oh well, not right now, but uh, it's always been popular. But it's it's rising in popularity. Wow, look at all these stores. So the night market in Kampot actually dates back to the French colonial era. Uh, back then, the market was actually known as Ma 
uh, Marche de Unit and was like primarily, well, primarily one of the places, right, that the locals came to purchase fresh products and household goods. So that is super interesting. But now it's kind of more like a tourist attraction area. Some stores here are closed. It's just super. Let's have a look. So a lot of kids clothes here. Um, and if you guys missed it as well, like at the front of the uh, market, uh, there were some fixed prices there, but uh, these ones are all kind of negotiable. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, so they've got like men's t-shirt here, women's clothes here, and kids' clothes as well. Wow. So, um, like when you're coming here to actually have a look at the place, uh, it's uh, just like from the layout of this, it, it looks actually quite small. So there's like two areas, there's an area you can enter and there's two um, sort of, uh, uh, I wouldn't say it, like uh, pathways. Yeah, that's the word. I was like, I was going to say lane, but uh, I, it's actually pathways. Um, so there's two pathways that you can enter and Pretty much, those two pathways have stores in them, and the stores actually uh, go out, um, go to the other side as well. And in the middle, there's actually like a, a place where the kids can stay too. So they've got a lot of shoes here as well. And they're like, you can actually do like dodging cars here too with the kids. So it's like a sort of a area here that you can bring your kids to. That's cool. Right. So see how the um, like the store itself actually goes to the other side. And I'll walk around this area and show you what it's like. Oh, that's the first jewelry store I've seen here. Oh. Watches as well. We've got tables here too. Just right in the middle. Oh, okay, there's more jewelry. Oh, hold on, I'm just uh, trying to get make my way through right now. Fried food as well. What? Shoes, shoes, shoes. All right, let's go. Yeah, see how like there's a sign over there that says 10,000 reels. Um, that's pretty transparent in terms of prices. Now let's have a look on this side. So um, this here is literally all shoe section, right? So there's literally shoes and bag section right here. Oh, it's so cool. So I did a like a suss around um, in terms of prices with the shoes because I, I really wanted to buy shoes because uh, I actually was planning to go to La Plantation today and it started heavily raining and during this trip I only brought one pair of shoes right so this is the shoe I'm wearing right now and it is absolutely wet and my socks are wet as well and so I had to buy shoes um, I asked uh, I, I went inside I really wanted to be respectful so I asked the, the girl whether I could record it and she's like no please don't record me so I was like okay okay but in saying so uh, in Phnom Penh generally the thongs are around uh, thongs in Australia I think uh, you call it sand sandals in in, um, in America I believe uh, it's 250 to 3 US dollars to get these shoes. So this these shoes actually have a uh, Havianas on them. Let me just show you actually real quickly. I really wanted to show you guys um, me negotiating, but I also felt like 
uh, really uncomfortable because she was very uncomfortable with it as well. So I was like, you know, it's, it's okay. I don't have to show everything in the video, but what I want to show you guys is exactly what it looks like outside. So that is the most important thing and showing you what uh, this market looks like. Now, have a look at this. So they've got Havianas on it, right? But the way it's designed is, can you see how the top is like cut off a little bit? And these are not genuine, just letting you guys know. But they will do you justice in terms of getting you buy in Asia. And, uh, and yeah, I think it will do you justice in terms of getting by. It was super cheap as well. So I bought this for three US dollars and I called my auntie and I was like, oh, you know, uh, what are the prices like? Because uh, I have no clue how to negotiate here and I don't know what the standard prices are. So she told me that the standard price for like thongs like these are around three US dollars. So when I was like kind of negotiating out here, uh, their standard prices were more around like 850 to 10 US dollars. I'm just being super transparent here in terms of it. So yeah, if you want to get shoes here, they are around like 10 US dollars for it. But the really cool thing about them is that like these shoes are kind of <laughs> theme based. Like it's really cool. Look, like these ones you've got uh, one piece shoes, Spider-Man shoes, Naruto shoes and if you are a fan of them then why not right it's like so cool and these banana shoes here I um, they're around 850 because I, I asked them prior as well now see how cool they are look at that Bart Simpson Spongebob see if you're a fan of Spongebob uh, they've got that as well like I feel like they they printed it on the thongs itself and they're just like chuck the Haviana symbol in there as well so yeah I've like got this for three US dollars and that is like the exact price and my auntie's like oh no 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 you're not paying more than like five US dollars for any of your shoes and I'm like oh, okay yes auntie I will not pay more than five US dollars and I did it I paid three US dollars and yeah it's really cool I've got it um, so set your standards guys when you're negotiating and also if anyone is in Cambodia please let us know the prices as well like what uh, you can expect to buy with uh, market prices too because uh, the more we share it's just like uh, it's it's cool like we we can know what to expect you know and not get ripped off too badly as uh, uh, tourist people uh, and if you don't feel uncomfortable uh, with it then you don't have to it's just more of a I like to share all the information that I have because it's just uh, really um, I guess uh, beneficial for everyone in the community the travel community and I am Cambodian as well, like uh, my background is my parents are Cambodian so I'd like to know more about like I guess the prices and the standard prices here as well so yeah so this is that side and um, I think I'm just gonna quickly show you the other side as well I better put these shoes back in I'm gonna chuck them back in all right let's go to this side all right so now we have just gotten to that oh by the way guys like just on top of that durian roundabout there's actually a place over there where you could um it's kind of like a park and people go running there and uh play sports there as well i believe i think i saw people playing sports there don't quote me on that um but uh there are people who run in that field that i have seen today so yeah, that's an area as well if you're in Camp Hot and you want to go for a run um, and exercise but don't know where to go. It's just, uh, oh actually, hey guess what, there's an iron fitness over there too. So uh, luckily there is one gym over there and also one uh, uh, free park that you can uh, use as well for all the people who absolutely love exercising. Um, that's an option for you guys. So. All right, so this side is quite similar. Uh, hold on, I'm just gonna quickly show you guys. Uh, on that side, they've actually got one, two, three, four, five, six, six food stores on that side as well. And um, they've got a fruit shake store, so a pizza store. That's hilarious, they actually make pizza on the spot there for you. So that pizza over there is 250 US dollars at 10,000 reels. And they've got the bread um, as well. And uh, I was trying to have a look at what that is, but uh a few other stuff too cool now let's have a look at this side and then i think like we've pretty much explored the whole market
So we're just gonna continue this on the phone because I don't know what's wrong with my GoPro, but recently it has been really overheating and it's just hasn't been working properly. So like, I do apologize for uh, the change in camera quality recently in terms of moving back and forth uh, with uh, the recordings. But I think the most important thing I wanna show you guys is more of like the places and finalizing those videos. So I do apologize for that. Um, now, uh, let's have a look. So this here is, uh, you know, what you can expect and we're almost at the end of uh, the video itself and um, this here uh, I think uh, what I was going on that point before is more of like uh, you know you don't know whether the prices are um, like correct or not so it's kind of like more of negotiating of what you would pay yourself for that and what you believe that value would be is my belief of how you should negotiate um just in general really in terms of that so yeah like they still have like a lot of um, like women's clothes and stuff like that so it's so cool look at that so this is a uh, camp pot, everyone and we have just finished the end of the market so we walked on the uh inside of the market and then the outside of the market and then uh, we pretty much just finalized the whole tour of uh, Camp Hot Night Market. Camp Hot Night slash Day Market, mind you. Um, all right, so that is the end of the tour. And if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll be back for more travel videos. All right, see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.